Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Megan and today we are going to be doing a DIY custom mat framing tutorial. And little disclaimer here, this is not professional at all. This is definitely a DIY project, but came out really, really good. So if you're interested in that, keep watching. Quick little background story. So my husband and I got married last October at the Biltmore in Asheville, North Carolina, and we eloped. We didn't have any guests. So we didn't have like any favors or anything like that to like remember the day by. <laughs> um, besides photographs, we had wonderful photographers. They did a video of us. It was amazing. But our, our biggest keepsake item that we have right now, or like our main keepsake item, is this gorgeous picture. It's an illustration of the Biltmore. And we both love it. It's humongous. And when I got home, from my wedding, I immediately wanted to frame that and put it on the wall because we didn't have any of our photographs yet. It was like the one thing that I had. And it was expensive to frame and map this thing. I got online, I looked at prices, and it was like, most of what I could find, like the nicer frames that I could find in this size were at least like 60 or $70. And then the matting was non-existent. I couldn't find a mat, I couldn't just order on Amazon a mat to fit this. I couldn't find a mat online that would fit this picture. I was in AC, this is like almost a year ago. I was in AC Moore a couple days ago though, and I'm walking around, I'm like looking for a frame that could maybe fit this picture, and I found one. It was only $15, it was originally 30, but I was half off. It was perfect, just a plain black frame, and I needed to have a mat inside of it. So I talked to people at AC Moore, they don't cut matting there, but they sold it. And the lady advised me that I should call Michaels and see if they did it. So I was like, all right, call Michaels. And they're like, yeah, we cut Matt here. What size are you looking for? I told them and they were like, probably be about 50 or 60 bucks. And I was like, oh my God, I'm still looking at spending, you know, $75 on just a frame and a mat. And I just, I don't know, I just didn't want to do that. So I got creative and I bought a big giant sheet of mat and, or matting, I don't know how you say it. I don't know which one's correct. But either way, I made my own custom matting for this frame and it's perfect. It's not exactly like custom matting that you would purchase professionally done. It doesn't have the little bevel on the inside, but it totally works for what I want it for. And maybe one day I'll upgrade, but I think this is fine. I don't, I'm happy with it. I'm 100% happy with it. So let me show you what I did to achieve this. For this project, you will need an X-Acto knife, and I do recommend the number two, as it is a knife that holds a little bit of a thicker blade for heavy duty projects like this. Before I do anything, I like to just draw myself a little diagram. The sheet of paper represents the piece of mat that I bought and the rectangle that I am drawing is the size of the matting that I need for my frame. So my frame is 36 by 24. I need to create another rectangle inside of here that represents what we are going to cut out of the middle so that my print fits behind it. And the size of my print is 29 by 20. So I need to create a space with those dimensions. And then I need to do some math because I need to figure out where to put this rectangle in the middle that I'm cutting out. So 36 minus 29 is 7 divided by 2 is 3.5 on each side. And then 24 minus 20 is 4 inches divided by 2 is 2 inches on the top and the bottom. I'm doing this on my garage floor. I'm just laying down some brown paper so that my matting doesn't get dirty, but make sure that wherever you do this project that you do it somewhere where you won't scratch the surface underneath with your X-Acto knife. And I'm going to be working on the back of my matting so I can draw all of my dimensions and I can make my cuts there and that the front stays nice and clean. So I'm using my T-square and I'm just drawing those outside dimensions of 36 by 29. So I'm measuring with my tape measure to make sure it's accurate and I'm using my T-square to make sure that I stay square and I make straight lines. 
Now that I've got my outside dimensions drawn, I can go ahead and I can go in with my X-Acto knife and I'm gonna put a lot of pressure on my T-square. I'm gonna watch my fingers too. I don't wanna slice my fingers and I'm gonna go over those lines. I'm gonna repeatedly use my X-Acto knife, putting pressure up against the edge until I've made a complete cut all the way through and usually you can feel it when you have. I can just remove the excess matting that I don't need anymore. Reflecting my diagram, I need to draw the interior rectangle and those dimensions are going to be two inches on the top and bottom and three and a half inches on the left and the right. And then I am going to actually make my cuts about a quarter inch inside of those lines because I don't want to fully expose my print behind it. I want it to sit comfortably behind my matting. Once you've made all of your cuts, you can remove your centerpiece and you are left with your very own custom matting. scotch tape to attach my print to my matting so it doesn't move around once it's framed. And here is my completed project. Thanks guys for watching. If you're not already subscribed, please make sure you hit the subscribe button and that you make sure that you are on for notifications so that you know each and every time I upload a new video with a new project.